Today, I'm going to show you how to use a JSON array to create form fields and populate a form. Looking at the node demo, which has a very simple form, and I just decided to use that as a basic. So here's an agent I created. And I'm going to create a form using Midas LSX. It's going to be called sample contact. It's going to overwrite if there's an existing one, and I'm going to set a background color. So I, I set up some preliminary things, such as the font and what it's going to look like, and I put a title at the top. And then here's our, my JSON value, which is just a, an array of, of different names and some properties. So now we're just going to run the agent just so you can see what it starts out with. Okay, so there is our form, which already looks better than the one in the Node Demo API. But now we're going to just try changing a little. We're going to add a property called as table equals horizontal. Run the same agent and look at the same form. And now let's put it into a horizontal table. But it's a little crunched up. So there's an idea of how you can just kind of keep tweaking this until you get it right. We are going to change the, the table width to be fit with margins rather than fixed. And we'll run it again. And that looks a lot better. So you've got a nice table with the fields in it. But there might be more fields, and that's already taken up the whole width. So let's try changing to as table to vertical. And we'll make it fixed again. And then we'll actually set the widths of the of the two columns to 1.2 inches and 5 inches. And we'll set a, a cell color on the as the background color for one of the columns. Alright, so that looks better. I mean we're we're starting to look like we want, but I think what we should do is actually put an outer table, tab table. I do this sometimes to make a form feel a little better. So we're going to use the append table method. We're going to actually just create a tab table. We'll make it seven inches so that it's got a little extra space. And then we're going to zoom in so that when we append uh, our form fields, they'll be inside that first table cell of the tab table. Oh yeah, and we should probably add a cell color for that table and add a tab label contact. So we'll try that. As you can see, it's fairly easy to just try different ones, but once you have something working, it would work with different data. Okay, so that that's looking good. I, I don't like the way the tab label is so small, but we'll work on that in a minute. Let's let's try to add another field. So you can see, and this one is going to be a computed field. So we add a little more information. We add the field name and all that it's a computed field, and we'll add the formula. Everything else is deduced, and you can override anything. So you could put an input, input translation formula or anything else if it were an editable field. Well, let's try this out and just see. It's going to look pretty much the same, except with a new row. Okay, so there's the full name. And if we click on it, we'll see it's a computed field. And look down below, you can see that it's got the, the formula. So you can create whatever kinds of fields you want, rich text or anything else. All right, let's set the tab font so it looks a little better. And then we'll give it a drop shadow on the tab table because that always looks fancy. Save it and run it again. And as you can see, it's fairly easy to create a nice looking form with the, with Customize fields all from a JSON value in one script.